Welcome to Anglia Car Auctions. Happy Easter, everybody. Now, whilst you're all sitting at home, no doubt enjoying some lovely family time or roast lamb or chocolate Easter eggs, I'm sure the kids are tucking into, we at Anglia Car Auctions have been beavering away. We've been very busy, haven't we, guys? Very, very busy. <laughs> now, Freddie, it's, it's been a, a bit of a, a, an epic build-up to, uh, to the sale. And whilst next week we're going to be doing a full walk around as we've done before, we wanted just to talk. Do a little sneak preview. Sneak preview. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So some of the, uh, some of the highlights. Yeah, some of the exciting things on offer <laughs> that you can see. And we start with this fantastic Anglia. Um, one of my favourites, Guy. Uh, as I say, it's kind of just come into us, so we've just done the photos, etc. Um, so original. It's I mean, remarkable, Dale, if, if isn't it? If you have a look at this interior, yeah, I don't know, Dale, absolutely if... fantastic. Um, uh, just so period, isn't it? And um, I say, long family ownership. Uh, we've guided it seven to nine, and just it's so original. It's really nice just to see something that's so genuine. So, yeah, I think, and this will be, I don't think we've had many anglers that are on a par. Uh, with this particularly when you look under the bonnet and all your inner wings they're all not they're not rotten yeah. out it's yeah. just it's really really uh, really smashing behind dale i'm just going to point out we've got three lotuses now we've got the lotus europa um jps so the special edition five speed um very very rare car that has had one owner since it was about two and a half years old so Amazing. huge huge history we have this rather interesting uh, Alan 2 plus 2. Now, I don't know uh, if, uh, if you can see under here, but the engine is quite special because it is a vegan tune twin cam. So, uh, yeah, really, really, uh, really, yeah. really, really interesting. And, it, and again, very period colour, isn't it? I, I love, love it. the colour. I always say, I say classic cars should be fun. They should be bold. Why not? Ab <laughs> absolutely. Now, I, I love Lotus Esprits. Yeah. Um, and this is a really classy Lotus Esprit, I would say. Looks the part, doesn't it? Does. Really, really uh, fantastic looking car. Um, behind you, Freddie. Yes, very exciting. We've got the Ferrari, which is, uh, yeah, as I say, one of our, uh, as I say, obviously, Sunday lots. I was going to say, everything you see in here on, in this hall will be on the Sunday. So do keep that in mind um, when you're looking online, looking at the catalogue. But again, Dale, just, just pan in here and have a look at that. Absolutely fantastic. They're the uh, Daytona seats, aren't That's they? That's it, yeah, Daytona uh, seats. And uh, yeah, you could certainly have some fun with that. <laughs> yeah, now Dale, who's behind the camera, a lot of you will know Dale. Dale actually took this one out for the uh, photo uh, and video. So uh, he, he, he got lucky with that one, didn't he? He got lucky with that one. Um, now, I'm going to mention a couple You're of cars. You're torn between the I'm, two. I'm torn between. Yeah. So over here, now tell us about this pairing here, Freddie. Um, we know it's one, one owner. One owner, which again, instantly draws your attention, doesn't it? Um, but this was the uh, Jordan edition. So um, Honda did say, uh, basically from new, you had this, um, as I say, the bike and the car sold as a package effectively. Yep. Very, very rare. Um, I've taken out the car actually today to do the photos. And uh, yeah, they're really good fun. They're great fun. But but to have them as the pair still oh, is really absolutely. Incredible. I think that's super. Yeah. They didn't. They were they were. I think destined to sell fifty as a pair. Yeah. Um, I don't know that they sold all fifty back in the day. Right. I would almost put money on the fact that this is the only um, pair that have stayed together. Yeah. And we have never offered a car and a bike. In as, the same lot, so they are. Yeah. You buy one, you get the other. And it's number two four nine off the top of my head. I say you got it stamped on the uh, centre console, um, but yeah, really, which really is brilliant. great to see. Now we've got a bit of a theme of threes in um, in this sale. We have three Austin sevens. Now I particularly like this Austin seven van um, sign written up in Farnham. Now, do we know anyone in Farnham? I uh, think. Dave, Maybe. if you're watching yeah. this, you know, I know you're not into Austin 7s, but it's... It's, <laughs> it's got his name on it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, we've got three magical little Austin 7s. Um, one of them, just round here, Dale, if you can see, are only, he's had it quite a number of years, and he drove it here 
um, from Peterborough. So it's great uh, to really okay, have that amazing. reassurance. I mean, that, that really was commitment. Um, mm. And then we've got this lovely little Tickford convertible with the wind down um, mohair hood. Now, I'm going to just make mention of this. Now, it's an MG. Now, it's the Trophy. And that's the Trophy 160. Now, I say, oh, it's, it's another um, more common MGF. Now, the Trophy was a really, really special car. So it's the TF160, um, high horsepower, 160 horsepower, as opposed to the standard 145. But the whole suspension was reworked. They sit lower, um, I think about 140 mile an hour top speed, mm. 0 to 60 in less than seven seconds. But what makes this car really special, if you just look, Dale, at the condition, do please have a look, is it is only done 1,200 miles. It's lovely, isn't it? It's, it's just It just presents fantastic. so, so well. Um, so, yeah, really one to, to tuck away. And we're offering this no reserve. Those magic words, no reserve. So we, we like no reserve. <laughs> um, I really like this car. It's a rarity. Find another with 1,200 yeah, miles. I was going to say, you're going to struggle, aren't you? It's, it's going to be a real, a real impossibility. I, I think you'd be very, very hard pushed to find a better one. Yeah, absolutely. Now, where are we going next? Oh, where should we, where should we go? I think Dale will probably go behind you. Yeah, um, if Dale, if, can you walk backwards? Because we're, <laughs> we're, we're not, we're not great at uh, walking backwards. Um, again, we continue the theme of three, don't we? Oh, well, we've got, yeah, we've got the three and a three here. So which ones do we go for? Oh, should should we go we Go on, go on. Go on. Go okay, Dave, you go can, around. I can see you're itching for it. <laughs> now, if you had to pick one of the TVRs, Fred, oh, what's, it, what's it going to be? Well, see, I'm torn because I know Jeff is the TVR man, isn't he? He's the and, TVR guru, yes. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure he would say something very different, um, but I love the Griffith. I think yeah. that's, that's the ultimate It for me. sounds... Fantastic. This this presents um, really well. Yeah, the chap drove it here. Yeah. Um, he's, he's had it for a little bit, had a bit of fun with it. And, you know, just, I think, say, had his fun and, and wants to wants to move it on. But it's, um, again, a rarity to see. Presents nicely. And, um, yeah, they do, they do go like stink, don't they? <laughs> they do. They do, most definitely. So you're, you're with that. Yeah. And I do love the sound. But I have a feeling what you're going to say. I really, really like this. Um, and this is so much of a, a rarity because it has the Triumph uh, straight six engine. Mm. So a lot of them came with the Ford engine. It sounds really, really lovely. It's come from long-term ownership. Um, it's not been used much for some time, so uh, probably wants a little bit of, little bit of going you know, re recommissioning. Yeah. But what a shape. It just, yeah. it just yeah. does it for me. I really like that. Um, we were just looking at the rear lights, Dale, if you can scoot round. Um, look like Mark II Cortina. Cortina, yeah. Uh, to me. Again. Unless someone's going to tell us otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone will be straight in the comments, but no, um, that is the kind of quirky thing with TVRs. You do kind of spot what's been taken off what. Uh, but absolutely. I think that's all part of the charm. That is, uh, yeah. without, a, without a doubt. Now, certainly there will be no parts off Fords no. yeah. on this trio. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've got these three German beauties here. Um, I'll start with the red one, if I may, Fred. Yeah, of course so you can. this is a one owner car. So um, our vendor purchased this car abroad. It's a left hand drive. Um, he imported it into the UK when he moved back uh, to the UK. 29 thousand miles now when this was ordered new he just ticked everything all the options <laughs> so it's really really well spec you've yeah. got this lovely hard top the leather interior the sound system i, I was going to say it's even got that sort of slight new car smell it's just been so well yeah. looked after it's, um, it's, and you can tell a car that's always been garaged yeah they just yeah. they're just all, all still the sharp good, and bright everything's yeah look at look at the headlights so headlights on these notoriously did go dull yeah, in, the, uh, in the in the light. Yeah. These are still super, super sharp. So a fantastic car, one owner, 29,000 miles. You can't, fairly, you can't fairly irrepeatable. Can, you? Now yeah. we're guiding this 
at 14 to 18,000 pounds. Now, I think there's going to be some fairly hot competition, competition yeah. for that. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's great. Now, over to you, uh, over to you, Fred. Yeah, well, again, um, obviously another 911 we've got, but um, this one, now, God, you'll have to rem remind me of the mileage on this one. So we're... this one has done 51,956. So just nearly, nearly 52,000. Yep. Um, the chap's had it for a little bit, hasn't he? Yes. Um, he drove it here. Um, but I think, I say, value for money, you know, it's, we, it's we've guided this 25 to 30. 25 to 30. Yep. So it's a manual, less than 52,000 miles. Um, it's 997. Yep. Um, look at the interior. You've got, it's black on black. Um, it's very, very hard to fault this car no. looking around it. A again, you can tell quite instantly it's been well cared for. You know, it's one that yeah. you, ju you can just tell right off the bat. Um, and this still smells. This sm still smells, smells great. Just, yeah. just a little <laughs> bit. Uh, past the smell test. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Um, and then... I suppose you'd call it the younger brother. Yes. Almost. So yeah. in the uh, in the grouping is this Cayman S, um, and again slightly uh, slightly different. You can see it's the Porsche in in its visual appearance, but it's perhaps a little bit more manageable yeah. for people. Um, they were a little bit cheaper, but you've still got all the uh, all the excitement. This has done sixty two thousand miles. Tiptronic, great looking car in silver. I love um, the interior actually with that. It works really well, the, the combo, doesn't it? It's, yeah, um, I yeah. can't remember. I think we're guiding this about 11 and a half to 13 and a half or Again, something not, like that. Not a lot, is so, it? So yeah, not a, not a lot at all. How about this? So uh, long, long, long term family. I think it's father and daughter yeah. owned um, this Morgan. So you've got the four cylinder Ford engine. So really, really, it's, you know, a very easy car to look after mechanically. Yeah. Um, yes, it could do with a little bit of um, of a, a sort of cosmetic, yeah, cosmetic um, but, do, but really, really great car. A usable example, yeah, isn't it? like yeah. that very, very much. And oh, this one of my favourites actually. Oh, just the mileage on it. I really, really. Again, we talk about cars that you think try and find a better one. I would argue this is a uh, great example of that. Am I right? Uh, going saying 16,000 16, miles. 16,302 yeah. miles. Um, now we sold this car yeah. several, several years ago. So I do remember it. It's a fine example. Again, um, the chap that's had it, again, cared for it, you know, top notch again. So um, yeah, it's nice to, nice to see them back as well. No, absolutely. Now, how could we walk past? Well, you, you can't miss it, can you? <laughs> now our vendor has owned this Cadillac for over 30 years. So a huge amount of uh, time to own such a car. It really is a beautiful, beautiful uh, example. I was gonna say, I actually took this down the road for the photos and uh, yeah, brilliant. It's just uh, <laughs> great fun. <laughs> yeah, great fun. And how did it drive? It drove, drove absolutely fine. Yeah, again, I think it's been in storage for a little bit, um, but no, drove, drove fine on, on the drive we did. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just think, you know. Series 62. I think we might do a little bit more about this. So if you uh, go into, um, uh, we're watching this on YouTube. Do subscribe to the channel and then you'll get notifications when we'll be talking about other cars. Now, Dale's saying, and this is the danger. So, we, we only say we're going we're to talk we? for five we're, minutes yeah. and we end up, we can oh, just talk. We're like them. kids in a sweet shop. We're talk oh, for what's hours. What's this? What's this? So, <laughs> okay, we're going to brush through. We're going to quickly just have an overview. XR3, this super, super low mileage. MG, MG ZS. Lovely um, BMW again. One BMW, of your so that's favorites. done 40, yep. 45,000 miles. This Granada 2.8 gear. Yep. Um, Jaguar S Type. Now it's a manual car. Um, I think presents really quite presents well, well in it? silver. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going that seven to nine. Yeah. Um, continuing the theme of three. Yes. Three oh, yes. Mustangs. Yeah, um, look at that. And they're all completely different. Yeah. So uh, love that. The Series 1 Land Rover that's had a huge amount of restoration done on it, um, chassis, bulkhead, but they've maintained its, um, I think call it patina, it's great. Yeah, really, absolutely. really looks lovely. But me and you took out the Vauxhall, didn't we? Oh, um, really enjoyed that. That was good Fantastic, yeah. it's the VX 490. Tramp Stag, the manual. Yeah. Um, 
really quite a nice, nice looking car. Yeah, I would say one of my favourites, uh, which we covered before. A lovely ab little absolutely, film. this yeah. little estate, this. which we did mention in a previous video. Yeah. Um, Bentley Continental, the GTC convertible, the MG. I'll oh, just put the isolator on, actually. Yeah. If you can. Sorry, when we're walking past, you see things. <laughs> um, uh, that's lovely. Heritage uh, reshell, yeah. two-liter Acelli engine. Um, we've driven that. Oh, because I've driven and it. It, it, it goes lovely. It yeah. goes really, really well. I'd actually say that's probably one of the best driving MGB roadsters we've had here. Brilliant. Um, well, there's yeah. there's an accolade there's for you. <laughs> um, beautiful uh, Alfa Romeo Spider. Now there is a video of uh, I think me going out in the Vauxhall um, Brava pickup. One owner from new, 24,700 something miles. Brilliant. Um, Triumph TR4A. Mm. IRS, so the um, independent rear suspension. Panel gaps on this are lovely, really, really bright car. Genuine UK car as well on the chrome wires. Uh, one of two BMW yeah, M3 yeah. Uh, Cabriolets in um, manual. And just over there, Dale, if you can pan your camera, is a Triumph TR5. Now, the TR5 is like the TR4, except it had the fuel injected engine, um, two and a half litre, um, so it's six cylinder, so fantastic. And again, I took that out uh, for the photos and uh, yeah, no, good, good bit of fun. Yep. Definitely, and summer's Brilliant. coming up, isn't it? Fantastic. Um, I love this, I'm sorry, I've just got to mention this guy, this MG ZT. Now, the special, again, you're probably thinking, it's a bit like the uh, TF at the back there. Okay, nicely presented enough, but what's it doing in a classic cell? The big question. Well, it's just one owner and 4,800 miles. Again, I would put the question, I think you're going to struggle to find a better one. It is absolutely lovely. Really, yeah. really nicely presented. We've guided that mileage it. is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We, we've guided it five to seven. And I always think five to seven thousand pounds, you could go out and buy a new car for three times that. And, and it wouldn't get you much of a new no, car. No, I yeah. was going to say, and, and to be fair, you could buy something like that, run it, look after it, and it's still a good investment. Yeah, no, I like that. And we're just, it would be wrong of us to, now it is a work in progress. Yeah, As you we, can see, we've been we really, 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 really busy. <laughs> but um, three fabulous fours. So we've got the um, Cosworth um, Sapphire. We've got the RS2000. And we've got this little Mark I Fiesta yes. S. Yeah. That's a rarity because it's the 1100, the 1 1.1. Yeah. So uh, quite special. Speaking of Fiestas as well, just a little mention of that oh, one yes. over there. Oh no. yes, Yeah, if your budget doesn't stretch to um, the uh, S, how about this as a little starter entry? What a genuine car it's that is. It's so original. Even, even the little things like the stickers, <laughs> the sort of period uh, window stickers just make me, look, make me smile too. I think right on the uh, back there. Yeah. Um, yeah, lovely, really original. Um, okay, yes, you know, we'll want going through Stay it. Stay clear, my rear is near. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. Right, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that note, um, we have got so many more cars, it would be wrong of us to go around. To yeah. go around, because we're going to do the whole lot next week, and we'll probably have a few other little videos coming out. But we've been busy. We hope you have a wonderful Easter and um, take care look after yourselves we'll be here we'll be busy won't we guys <laughs> <laughs> absolutely freddie um so from us take care look after yourselves and we'll see you next see you soon and don't forget subscribe if you'd like to get notifications take care thank you